Hi, everybody. I uh, I did something on the weekend here. It's Saturday morning, and I did it last night. Sorry, so Friday. Um, but I want to show you. I as a travel agent, it it pays to pay attention and look around and do the things, different things, and everything. And I was going to spoil myself on my next cruise, not the cruise I have coming up first, but my second cruise. I was going to spoil myself because I had booked that one first. And I was going to upgrade, but then something happened that made me change my mind. Okay, I was going to go, well, I am going, sorry. I'm on the Carnival Mardi Gras, and I'm on with my friend Tony and his wife Jenny, and we are going to be, not Jenny's my friend too, so <laughs> just in case somebody says, hey, what, is she not your friend? Of course she is. Um, but I, I booked a balcony, and I said, you know what? It's my first cruise in like 16 months. I haven't cruised in a year. I'm not going to do it all the time, but, you know, maybe spoil yourself for your first cruise back. And I started looking and I started debating on getting a big suite. And there were two suites that have a hot tub and a huge balcony. And one is at the front of the ship, right over where the captain is. And that's the uh, presidential suite. And then they have an aft facing suite that has this huge, huge bass, uh, balcony on the back and it has this beautiful, beautiful uh, hot tub. And it has this big sitting area, a, a dining room table outdoors. It was beautiful, beautiful. And overall for that size of cabin and that look with the hot tub in it, not as expensive as I thought it was going to be. So I was gonna, you know what, Don? It's your first one back. It's your first one back. So I, I booked a regular balcony on the Celebrity Edge, which is my next cruise, and I was gonna upgrade that one. And then I was talking to a really good friend of mine, really, really good friend of mine. Um, I won't go into too much details. No, it's not a romantic friend. Uh, in fact, she was the best friend of somebody who was very close to me who passed away. So we've been, we've always, we've kept in touch. We've known each other for years and years and years, and she lives in Florida. And I've been trying to get her on a cruise and trying to get her. She came on a, the Sky Princess with me on a three-day cruise and absolutely loved it. First time ever on a cruise, and she absolutely loved it. And I said, uh, I tried to convince her. And finally, finally, it all worked out that she could get the time off work and come on this Celebrity Edge cruise. And so all my plans kind of changed. And so she said, can you book me an inside cabin? And, uh, you know, she, 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 she's not rich. She's been struggling through COVID, uh, on and off of jobs, term, like furloughed and things like that. Um, and so she hasn't, you know, she, she's not, really, really rich. She's not really well off by no means, okay? Uh, like most of us. And so I said, okay, I'll book you an inside cabin. Now you're saying to yourself, Don, what are you saying this on your channel for? Uh, well, she doesn't know I have this channel. She knows my cruising with Don, but she doesn't know this channel. And quite frankly, she probably doesn't watch me too often. Anyway, some friend, eh? <laughs> Uh, but in, in all truth, she doesn't get a lot of internet where she lives in Florida. She's out in the key, like in the keys and, uh, she doesn't need the internet. It, she's on the beach all the time and she's in, you know, the, the tourist area. So she doesn't, she's on her phone if anything. So, uh, but I decided, you know what, uh, I know the things that she's gone through. And I know the things that I've gone through during COVID, you know, I'm a travel agent. How do you think my finances were during this time? <laughs> and I know how she feels. And I said, well, you know what? I, I'm not gonna, 
I'm not going to book a, a balcony cabin for myself and not and have her on an inside cabin. I'm, I'm going to get her a balcony. And then I started looking. And here, let me let me bring up the first thing I noticed. The first thing I noticed here, I'm going to bring it up beside us here. Hang on. Are you ready? Here we go. Okay. So here's the sailings. And you're going to notice here, July 24th, it starts at this price per person. All right, not bad. Do you notice that the, 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 the sailing before and the sailing after is almost 50% higher at the starting price? And I said to myself, well, that's sort of crazy. <laughs> so which one did I book? I booked the cheaper one, right? Um, because I'm not really interested in where I'm going. Uh, I, I just want to get on a ship and watch the ocean and things like that. And then I started looking, and Celebrity is a different kind of cruise line. They're they're in a you know they're a luxury cruise line, uh, but they have what's called you know hat, it's it's an all in kind of package where you have the gratuities are included for your for the for the crew, you have Wi Fi, and you have basic alcohol package. So everything around an $8 range, I believe, is included for drinks. Um, your Wi-Fi is the basic Wi-Fi, which means you can check your internet, uh, like your email and that, but you couldn't surf Netflix or anything like that. If you want that, you have to upgrade to the streaming service, which I had originally done when I booked my cabin. And that cost me in Canada about $300 to do that. And then there's all this specialty that restaurants that I want to do. And of course, if my friend's with me, I'm not just going to go to the buffet. I want to treat her and show her a good time. I want her to have a good cruise. I want all my friends who sail with me to have a good cruise. And especially if, if they've never done it before. When I brought my niece on board and she'd never been on a cruise, of course, we did specialty dining. When I brought my nephew and his wife on board for one of the cruises, we specialty dining, we did shore excursion, we did all the stuff. So I started looking and I noticed uh, when I said to myself, well, if I spoil, what if I, I get a bigger cabin? Maybe I can find a cabin with two bedrooms. And so I started looking in the suite category and there was one that has two bedrooms, but no, <laughs> it was like $17,000, $18,000 for a week. No, <laughs> that is completely out of the question. But I did, uh, I did go and I saw the the Sky Suites on board. But what caught me on, on the Sky Suite, first of all, was what was included. And what is included right off the bat was the streaming Wi-Fi which, so if I take, that means that I can take that $300 off the price of the balcony because I have to upgrade my there. So it costs me more. So if I deduct that from the cost of the Sky Suite, and then I noticed it's the premier beverage package. So it doesn't matter what drink I order. It, it, it's covered everything on board. Why even get bottles of wine in our room and stuff like that and go, Okay, well, that makes a difference as well. And then a big thing was $600 in onboard credits. I'm going, well, I'm going to spend that on specialty dining between the two of us or, you know, uh, something in the sending her to the spa or something like that. So, yeah, I'm going to send, spend $600 easy. Uh, and so it worked out. The difference in my balcony and getting a sky suite only cost me like another $600 for a cabin that's almost double the size. To me, that's a no brainer, right? To me, that was a no brainer. I just like, of course, why would I not want to do that? Not only does a sky suite give you the extra, it also gives you a specialty restaurant that's only for guests. And you also can go to the retreat area, which is a suite only area up on top. So, and priority boarding, priority disembarkation, all the bells and whistles. And I'm going, wow, 
Wow. Oh, yeah. And it includes the tips as well. So I'm going to myself, well, yeah, it kind of thing. You know, why would I not pick that? Right. <laughs> and uh, I don't know. I uh, it just came kind of made a, a no brainer to me here. Let me show you what a sky suite looks like. And this is the sky suite on the celebrity edge. You see, it's not like a two bedroom thing or a four bedroom or anything like that. It, it's, a, it's a nice king size bed facing a big balcony. And uh, it's got a nice bathroom area, lots of room. And there's the floor pan on board. Uh, you know, huge bathroom area, huge bathroom area on a sky suite. It's almost 400 square feet. And I said to myself, for $600 more, why not spoil myself on this one? So I said to myself, for $600 more, why not spoil myself on this cruise? But then I have a conundrum. I'm spoiling myself on this one, but I'm bringing a guest with me. So you know what I did? <laughs> yeah, I booked her a sky suite too. And so she doesn't know. And she is expecting to be in an inside cabin. And I have to keep it as big a secret as I possibly can. Um, otherwise, she's going to get very mad that I spent this money. Um, because, well, first of all, I hope she doesn't think she has to pay for it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you asked me to book an inside cabin for, you know, $1,500 and I, I spend $4,500. Sorry. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> but uh, no, I, I upgraded it myself. I've already paid for it. Already paid for it. Uh, so instead of spending the exact same, this worked out. I got two Sky Suites for the same price as I would have paid to upgrade myself on the Carnival Mardi Gras. And as much as that would have been fun, I still would have been this, in this beautiful cabin with a hot tub and everything. My friend Tony and Jenny would have come and visit me. Great. But I would have been in this big, huge cabin by myself. And I would have thought to myself during that cruise, this is great. This is wonderful. But it's so expensive for no reason. Right? I would have thought, had somebody come with me, different story, right? If I was bringing a date with me or a, a girlfriend, no. Uh, not, not, not going to happen. Uh, at least not in the next three weeks. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm, I, I got her a sky suite. She has no idea and I am keeping it completely secret. And I've even signed up on the celebrity website. I feel because she, she, she wanted me to make sure everything's good. So I filled everything out. And I have her password and her email uh, hooked up to my account. And so everything goes through me, uh, except notifications goes to her phone. But none of the notifications are for things like, here's your cabin or here's that. All the notification is going to be um, your time of arrival. Here's your pass to get on board. Here's your 24-hour health, health document you have to fill out before we go. We don't get that sent to you. And here's uh, where you can print out your luggage tags. And so uh, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, she, uh, I know she, I know she's going to be thrilled and I'm going to be thrilled because I'm able to do it. Um, I'd much rather splurge and share it with a friend than just splurge on myself. I was so back and forth about spending that money on the Mardi Gras, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And this, there was hardly any, any talk on there. So now we have between us now, we got $1,200 in onboard credits for a seven day cruise. So we can afford to do every specialty dining restaurant. She can go to the spa to her heart's content on the trip. And we still have that area, the retreat, and we still have the um, the, the Luminaire West restaurant, I think it's called, something like that. 
um, that is for sweet guests only, it's, it's going to be an amazing, amazing cruise. And I can't wait to go. And I feel so much better about spending the money with a friend as opposed to spending it on myself. I hate spending money on myself. So any excuse. <laughs> and by the way, I have stayed in suites before, but never bought a suite. I've had problems with my crews where they ended up putting me in a suite, uh, but I've never actually booked a suite cabin on my own in 107 cruises. I've never paid for a suite. In fact, majority of that 107 cruises were inside cabins because that's, you know, I said, I, I, this way I can do more cruises. I can do more cruises with an inside cabin. And then I made the mistake of moving to a balcony because of the, of the views that I would have got going to Alaska. And then I, I, every time I went to Alaska from that point on, I had to get a balcony. And then when I went to places like Hawaii, I had to get a balcony. <laughs> and I hope, I hope this means that going forward, I don't need to do a suite anymore <laughs> because I can't afford to do this by no means every time I cruise. So yeah, uh, in case anyone knows her out there, shh, it's our little secret. You, me, and the World Wide Web. <laughs>